We also congratulate the President-elect and his vice on their victory at the polls. May Almighty guide, protect, and make them, and make him the source of profound blessings and prosperity to Nigeria. Congratulations to all Nigerians. Our new hope is here. NFBA also wish to use this opportunity to appeal to all candidates, most especially the first, the second, and the third runner hubs in the just concluded general elections, to please put the nations first and give peace a chance. They should separate with candor their expectations from the reality. Concocting unfounded stories of electoral malpractices where there are none to elicit sympathy, smear fellow contestants, and cause discourse within the politics could damage their <coughs> pure intention and aspirations and will be very dangerous to Nigerians' well-being. The issue of uploading results on INEX server, which some of opposition latched on to spread stories of imagined malpractices, does not hold water. Let it be stated here clearly. We did, we did not have electronic voting in Nigeria. What we had was manual voting with results being captured and transmitted electronically and made easily accessible online. All participants at the polling unit can attest to this fact. The collision of which was also done manually. The introduction of Vivas was to impose credibility on our elections, which was done and delivered successfully. However, servers must be secured against possible hacking attempts. The cornerstone of the collection process clearly revealed that results from the state were duly signed by party agents from across the divides, while the Heineck at the national level merely assembled all the state results in the presence of national and international observers, with provision for parties to reasonably contest the validity of the presented and signed state's results. There is no need for making emotional issues over a dispensable server upload, which is already over 90% completed, the delay of which could easily be associated with contention in the networks and minor technical glitches that can easily be handled. Nigerians must not be further confused. The high neck should be commended for a wonderful job. The chairman's focus and tenacity of purpose and commitment to entrench a culture of free and fair election in Nigeria should be appreciated by all discerning Nigerians. This year's election is another milestone achieved in the drive toward revolutionizing the process and making it absolutely difficult, if not impossible, to read elections in our dear country. It is to INEC credit, headed by the electoral heart, that a lot of surprises were thrown up in the area, either though least expected to the benefit of the opposition in most cases. Nonetheless, INEC should learn from all the lapses experienced during this year's electoral process, especially the logistics areas and works toward perfecting all the areas of uh, needs. NFBA hereby commends President Muhammad Buhari for making good his promise of aiding and supporting all possible ways the emergence of credible electoral process, which was ironically 
exemplified in what happened in Castina, Lagos, Plateau, Nasarawa, and Yobe, etc. Despite the incumbency factor, which other people have deployed in full year during previous electoral processes. We hereby call on the president in waiting, Aswaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to give glory to the Almighty God, who made it possible for him to cross all the hurdles and obstacles on his way to attain an overwhelming and unambiguous victory. Tinubu Shetima must run an all-inclusive government and give every Nigerian a sense of belonging. We cannot progress as a people if we only believe in our tribes, religion, and ethnic affiliations. He is neither an APC, Yoruba, or a Muslim president, but a president of every Nigerian, irrespective of his religious belief, language, creed, or tongues. Appointments should be based on ability, competency, capability, and true representation of the people. The president has a key role to play in the war against corruption. He is the president, the number one citizen, and the leader of the country. He has to inspire us, live above board, deploy the force of personal example, and engender a society where transparency, accountability, and integrity are the core values. He must, as a matter of urgency, resolve security challenges across the country. Tinobu should run a lean, intentional, and purposeful government and be an exemplary leader of principle, decency, and honor. The president must chart a new course for the country towards economy, technological, social, and political regeneration that will improve the living standard of Nigerians. Nigerians are tired of sovereign and living in the hope of a better tomorrow, which honest leaders can build from our vast resources. The people are already impatient as it is and in their need of radical reforms that will encourage productivity, manufacturing, and businesses from micro to large. Tinobu must embark on radical reform from all fronts. He must initiate policies and make critical but unpopular decisions on petroleum subsidies, multiple exchange rates by the CBN and taxes. Finally, we need a revolution of ideas, ideals, policies and actions that will positively impact millions of our people and shift our thinking away from negativities, mutual hatred and suspicions. A sense of scarcity rather than abundance and loss of hope in an otherwise hopeful, resourceful and blessed country. There are enough opportunities here to make an impact and live a great life. No society is static. We must keep moving, evolving, improving, and progressing. The president-elect program must address youth concern, particularly quality education for today's world, real employment creation, and good governance. He must also look into police brutality and extra judicial killings and all the concerns. Each policy formulated should be well thought out, implemented, and should include a robust feedback mechanisms and overall evaluations. He must understood that power is about purpose and values. As he said in his speech, let us begin he, let us begin to heal and bring calm to our nation. This nation needs rebirth and real peace. Your Excellency, 
should remember that the teaming masses of these nations are the ones who elected you into the asserted office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Therefore, your appointees should be people with compassion and connections to humanity, which will enable your government to connect with the masses for its effectual sources and delivery of dividends of good governance. We wish the President-elect and his team God's guidance, blessings, and protection as he prepares to steer the ship of the nation to greater heights.